I'm going to show you something that uses three coins. We have one, two, and three. Now watch. If I take the first of those coins and squeeze it in my right fist, watch what happens. And it vanishes. That leaves us with just two coins. One here, one here. Watch the second coin as I squeeze it down. And it too vanishes. Now the last coin is the hardest as you know what to look for. So watch. I'll take it in my right fist one more time. And then into my left. And this time look. It completely vanishes. Welcome back to Tutorial Tuesday, where every Tuesday I'm here to teach you brand new, fresh magic. In today's tutorial, we're going to teach you how to do that impromptu three coin vanish that you've just seen, and it really is completely impromptu. You can even do it with borrowed coins. Now, I will tell you straight up that there is some sort of advance to intermediate sleight of hand going on, so it's not for the faint of heart. But if you love a challenge, then stick around and keep watching the video. So let's dive straight into it. Before we begin, I want to just say that I recommend taking off any sort of finger rings that you can, apart from like your wedding rings if you've got those. So take off any finger rings that you can because you don't want the coins to talk and clatter and give away some secrets. So get rid of these. I also like to take off any wristbands, rubber bands, and watches that I have. Now I've been doing this for a long time. I've spoken about this in other videos before. I like to, when I perform coin magic, get rid of as much jewelry as possible because it instills to the audience that there's no way for the coins to hide. And you'll see later on in the video, there may be more secret reasoning for this. So just before we get into it, go ahead and strip your hands and arms clean of any jewelry so that you're ready to learn this three coin vanish completely fresh. So here's the secret to how this works. You're only gonna ever have two coins. There's never gonna be three coins in play. You begin by having two coins in your hand you also are gonna need a pair of jeans with a pocket and a t-shirt that I tuck into my belt but make it look kind of baggy, right? And this is for your left pocket mainly. So watch. I begin by, by placing my hand here because this is conditioning for later on to make it feel natural when they see me do this again. I rattle these coins and I say we're gonna need three coins. And now I show this. One, two, three. In reality, this is what's happening. Super simple. I have two coins here. I say, I show, this is a better angle. I show one, and I place it into my hand. I show the second of the two, and I hit it against this one and do a retention vanish, but it can be really sloppy. It's almost like I hold it like with my middle finger and strike it in to a retention vanish, and then show a third, which is the second coin, and let everything go. So at speed, this looks like this. I have three coins. I have one, two, and three. Now that just feels like there's three coins, and you don't, I, there's a bunch of different ways you can do this. You can try and do it like this, with like a Himba vanish thing, you know, where you put your finger out and steal, but after doing this for a long time, uh, you'll see, I've noticed that you really don't have to worry about making it look perfect because this is just the beginning of the routine, this is just the setup. So one, two, three coins and secretly you have two. Next you're gonna say do this, you're gonna say watch I'll take the first coin and what's happening here is that you're literally just grabbing all the coins, all two coins, dropping them one by one and pretending to hold the third. The reality is that there is no third, okay? And this is a nice subtlety that I've seen in a Dan Haas Rattles uh, project. So, there's two coins. I just grab them, say, watch, I'll use the first of the three. And it just really feels like you have three coins, right? So one, two, boom. So you can make the first coin go. Now you're gonna say this leaves me with two coins. And I'm gonna do a Tenkai Pennies move that I learned from Ponta the Smith Sick. And that looks like this, one, two. Let me show you again, one, two. What's really happening is this. I'm gonna come and tap this coin 
with this coin, right? I'm gonna tap, and as I turn my right hand back over, I'm gonna pinch this coin and squeeze it here. And it's gonna look like that in slow motion. So I go tap, and as I come over, I'm gonna clip it between my middle and ring finger of my right hand. My thumb puts that in position, so super exposed view is I tap like this. I'm using my thumb against my middle finger, I tap, and then I'm gonna kick it in here. Now I don't want it to be so flush that it's completely hidden. I want a bit of metal showing because at the same time, I'm gonna strike this coin against it and I want it to make a sound. So I go from here, like this. And it feels like I'm just doing that, right? It feels like I'm just tapping them against each other. But you now know the secret that I'm secretly hiding this one. Okay, so that's a Tenkai Penny's move. So one, two. Really, I have nothing here now, right? So that gives me, that gets me ahead. You want to make sure you don't flash this as you do it as well. So you can go here and here and get a good angle on that, right? Now you just, can show this hand empty. Now from here, you're left with this one coin and this hidden coin. This is a move you're gonna execute now. You're gonna pretend that you're throwing this coin, but in reality, you throw this coin over the hand, okay? And you're gonna keep this second coin palmed. So this is kind of really difficult to show uh, in slow motion, but I'm gonna grip this coin basically, does, this hand does nothing other than sh just throw this coin to my hand. But at speed, it looks like you just throw in one this, this coin in, but really this is being palmed. So from here, like that, right? And it's not like over the hand, it's kind of like around the hand. So uh, it's kind of like you, I'm just throwing it from here, like that, right? So it's boom. Now, as I do that, from there, and I catch it, this coin in this hand, I'm just gonna very casually go to my pants pocket, my, my jeans pocket, and very casually go down here and just drop it in. Okay, so I'm literally gonna just get rid of that coin. That's gone now. And this is a really nice position to leave me in because now I genuinely have one coin. So if you think about it from the beginning, they really think you have three. Uh, you make one vanish, you can show that it's now two coins and it really is two coins. Then you make a second coin vanish, um, and the casual motion of it by you just standing here because you're so far ahead l allows you to have one coin. Now this is the hardest coin, you can do a bunch of things. You can do very casual vanishes for it, with like retention vanishes or himba vanishes. Um, but I showed you something kind of advanced, and this is what it is. Uh, I call this the moonshine vanish, and it's uh, I have a bunch of work on uh, arming, right? So there's an arming system. And it combines a few methods this stuff, but one of the things that I use is my pocket. So I, this is why I have my t-shirt tucked into my pocket on my left side to look casual. Um, and I make sure that my pocket has a little bit of air in it so I can get a, create a bit of space. It also helps if you have a bit of moisture um, on, on your skin, so you're not very dry. So you can put some moisturizer on, you can literally lick it before you begin. You can. I, what I like to do is get a cold glass, like an icy cold glass of water or uh, like a diet soda. And then I can, as I'm talking, I can just I can just rest it against my arm and the moisture will come off the glass and onto my skin. But either way, make sure it's moist. Now this is what's gonna happen. I'm at this position. I am gonna pretend like I grab the coin, but from the exposed view, what's happening is this. As my right hand comes over, without, so without my hand here, I'm gonna hide this for now. This coin is gonna land on my wrist, okay? Um, but from the correct angle with, 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 with a one-on-one -on -one setting, that coin will be hidden. And if you practice in the mirror because you're looking at it as the same as, from the same position that a normal person would, you'll get how well the angles are. My biggest tip for this is raise your hands up slightly higher than you think they should be. So instead of having them at waist level, raise them up higher and you'll see that it goes from there to there, right? So if my, if my hand was coming over you, you would see that, that would hide, right? So, it, But it looks like I'm throwing it into my hand, so it looks like I'm catching it, okay? But reality is, there's nothing there, it's hidden. Now, once it's here, you can do one of two things. You can bring your arm back to yourself, like I set you up with in the beginning to condition you. That way it looks kind of normal, 
And as and this has been this motion, even though it might feel weird to you, is being hidden because they think the coin's here, so they're tracking you here because this visual of the coin not being there is super convincing, right? So your hand's gonna come back and trap the coin against yourself, and it's gonna slowly you're gonna ride it there, slowly ride it down towards your pocket and allow it to drop in. Now, this sounds super difficult, but actually it's not that hard. <laughs> um, it's just about doing it slowly and being able to multitask. Your focus has got to be on this hand here as it happens. Because the reality is that you're going to make it just look like, the reality is that you're going to make it look like you do this and make the coin vanish, right? Because I actually had it at that time. But the actual way that we are doing it is pretending to take that coin, getting the focus up here as it vanishes into the pocket, right? Or gets ditched into the pocket. The other way to do this is to and this is, uh, this is more of a tricky, ballsy one, but you're gonna try and swing your hand down and shoot that coin in the pocket. Okay, so from here, it'll be hidden, right? And you're gonna try and shoot it down. Now remember, you've got this hand up here just to take away all the attention. So, so if I take it, we're gonna do the right position, pretend to take it, I can quite confidently do this up here, right? So one more time, and this is the exposed view for you. And you'll see that I shot it into my pocket. So one more time, if I take that coin and... Gone. <laughs> That was this week's tutorial Tuesday. Again, this is one of my 10,000 hour type tricks. I do it everywhere I can, whenever I get the chance, depending on what setting I'm in, will depend on the final vanish that I do. But I've been performing this for years. It's served me well. I hope you all enjoy it. Come back Thursday, come back Sunday, every single week for tutorial Tuesday. Something special is coming up this Thursday and then the Sunday sessions every single week. And if you haven't done so already, hit that subscribe button and ping that notification bell so you can be the first to find out when the new videos drop. And if you wanna leave a comment down below to request anything to learn, then just do that. Drop a comment in and maybe in the next tutorial video, I'll be teaching exactly what you have wished for. All right, guys, see you Thursday. Peace.